You're gonna take one of the cinnamon rolls, put it right in the middle, then take the other seven and spread them around that side. Now you are going to take and mash them down, or this is like our bottom layer. Mm -hmm. And you're going to kind of whip it, whip it together. Mm -hmm. I've already whipped it some, so I don't need it much. And we're going to brush this on here. Brush it on the cinnamon rolls. And this is just egg white wash. Yes. Just egg white wash, you're right. Okay, now you're gonna take two tablespoons of sugar, two teaspoons of cinnamon. Mm. Mix these together, or if you have cinnamon sugar, you can use it. You're just gonna mix it together. Mix it all. Now you're gonna take this, you're gonna sprinkle it on this egg wash and cinnamon rolls. So if it didn't have enough it cinnamon. It so good. It's gonna have plenty of cinnamon sugar on it now. And this is a fall treat, y'all. This one's gonna be really tasty. Yes. Okay, once you've got that done, your oven is at 375, mm -hmm. and you're gonna take this and we're going to bake it for 10 minutes. Okay. Okay, we've got All it out right. of the oven. Looks good. Those do look good. It smells delicious. Mm -hmm. Now you're going to take a can of apple pie filling, mm -hmm. and you're gonna spread it on here. Now, do you don't have to use a whole can, or are you? Yes. Okay. Use a whole can of apples. And Kim decided to get the ones that are sugar free. <laughs> we're trying to consume and watch how much sugar we're intaking. Just kidding, I accidentally got it. It's okay. But whatever. It's got the alternative sugar in mm -hmm. it. Okay, you're just gonna put that on there. Now you're gonna scoot it to the side. We're gonna do it one more step. You're gonna take a half a cup of all purpose flour and a half a cup of brown sugar. Gonna mix this together. This is like your crumble topping mm -hmm. that we're gonna top the apples with. Are we adding anything else to this? We are. We're gonna start, put in four tablespoons of softened butter. Ooh. Not melted, softened. And don't use margarine, folks. It's it's not good for you. And that butter will just you'll get it'll get nice and chunky. In yeah, there. you've got to just take your fork and mash it around. You know, you could use a dough. You have a pastry a blender. Pastry blender, yeah. I don't think you got one here, do you? I don't have one. Yeah. We need to get one on our registry. Okay. All right. Okay, now you're gonna take that. I'm gonna push this your forward. Pie back. We're going to sprinkle it on our pie. And this is like a top layer crust. Yes. This is a cinnamon roll apple cake. Apple pie. Apple pie. Okay. Now we've got it all on there. Mm -hmm. We're gonna take about a third cup of pecans mm. and we're going to put them on there. If you don't like pecans, you don't have to do this step. Yeah. It's just a little added something if you do. And you're gonna take it, put it back in the oven for about 25 to 30 minutes. Okay. Okay, grab a hot plate. Yeah. All right. Now we have got it out. Looks good. You're gonna take your icing from your can opener, mm -hmm. your can opener, icing from your cinnamon rolls and drizzle it. I mean, we did use a can opener earlier. I know. It's probably just on your brain. My brain does that, so I have brain fog, but that's okay. I think I'll take it over. Like lattice work. We don't have to have all of it. Okay. Now let's try our cinnamon roll apple pie. Mmm. Just gonna take a small slither. Okay. Oh, is it hot? It's a little warm, yes. Okay. I probably should have had a um, pie cutter. Charles, even though you got the um, fake 
apples mm -hmm. still tasted good. Okay. My fingers did. Let's see. Oh, that's really good. Hey, there we go, folks. It's mm. really good. That is nice and good.